thank you so much for coming back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about The Comforter. So The Comforter is a short film done by my buddy, Blacktastic Media. It was written and directed by him. And yeah, he hit me up not too long ago and said, hey man, would you like to have early access to my short film so you can check it out and do a non-spoiler review? And I was absolutely down to do that for him. Uh, I'll go ahead and say this right now. Uh, just because he is my friend, I'm not gonna completely kiss his ass the whole, this whole video. I will be honest about my opinions and I know that he asked me to be, so just letting you guys know that, that I'm not like gonna be biased here. But yeah, right out of the gate, it was super awesome to know that I was gonna be able to check out his short film early and just to know that a buddy of mine is constantly doing stuff like this you know Blacktastic is super super talented he's one of the coolest guys I've met here on YouTube and he has done short films I think this is the longest one that he's done uh, to date and I was definitely interested to see what he would do because I, I really enjoy the documentaries and some of the other videos that he makes that are a little bit long form on his channel and yeah this uh, video is gonna come out on YouTube it's a uh, you know it's a short film and it, uh, what I really enjoyed about it is that you you have the short film and then the last section of the short film it is literally just him kind of talking a little bit about the process and showing some behind the scenes footage which was really cool to see I'm glad that he tagged that on to the short film so that uh, you as a viewer can kind of like see the ride a little bit and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and start off with this movie the comforter it's a thriller horror short film and right out of the beginning of the movie I didn't really expect it to have this kind of eerie, creepy tone to it. I should also add that this will be coming out on October 29th. I will say that later on again to remind you guys, but yes, October 29th, if you guys are not already subscribed to Blacktastic, go subscribe to them, let them know that I sent you, and uh, yeah, be ready October 29th for this movie to drop. But yeah, The Comforter, directed and written by my buddy Blacktastic Media, yeah, what I really enjoyed about this film was at the very beginning of it, this very eerie, creepy tone and the basic premise of this film is set up. Now, I don't want to really get too much into what the events of this film are, but we find out at the beginning of the movie that this uh, this mother has made it maybe not the best decision with her children. There's a very eerie, creepy message that we're hearing, a phone call, and it sets up a little bit of kind of what this movie's gonna be about. And one thing that I felt as the movie was coming to a close was that I didn't really know how to interpret the end of the film. There were elements of the movie that felt uh, a little bit like, is this left for up to her interpretation? Where am I supposed to take from this? I did feel a little confused at a certain extent, but then he actually talks about it a little bit at the end segment where he's talking a little bit about the film, where there were things that he wanted to be left up for interpretation as far as the basic premise and what actually unfolds. And yeah, I enjoyed that. There was definitely this eerie, creepy vibe. One of these things that I enjoyed about the film was that because of the fact that it had a lower budget, you know, that it has this more handheld, kind of like hands-on feel to it, you know what I mean? That it was like a, you know, it feels like a, a fan film or a short film done by somebody who's working on a budget. You know, coronavirus also affected the, being, the process of being able to shoot this, as well as a bigger project he was working on. And what I enjoyed about that that handheld kind of feel to the movie was that it kind of reminded me of some of those very eerie or creepy videos that you'd find on the internet in the early ages of the internet except this one was able to be a little bit longer and kind of not just be a gimmick there was kind of something that was going on and I enjoyed that about this there was this kind of handheld kind of feel and vibe to the camera work and I really enjoyed some of the angles he got and some of the shots he got and the only thing I kept thinking as I was you know watching the short film was that if Blacktastic Media was given the ability to work with or a badass in a photographer with a very cinematic camera or, or a bigger crew that he could really do something really cool and, and as somebody who you know has kind of made excuses for myself to not go to film school like I want to uh, you know I definitely would love to be able to be a part of making a film at some point whether it's acting in something or the ability to actually direct or write something or even just shoot something I'm not entirely sure and sometimes I hold myself back from going to do those things but seeing this done by somebody that I personally know and you know I know that it's a hard work and you know you never know what's gonna fly with people, what's gonna work with people. And I just, uh, right out of the gate, just have to admire, you know, your your will. It's, it's inspiring, man. It's inspiring. It makes me wanna kind of make my own short film, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, right out of the gate, I enjoy that element about the film. It's cool to see one of my peers doing something like this. So yeah, I, I can't, you know, tell you guys enough. October 29th, go give him some love and go and check this out and let him know your thoughts on the short film as well. But yeah, you have this creepy premise and I enjoyed the, the way the movie was set up. I even told myself in my head, I was like, oh, I didn't expect it to be so creepy. Now, what I will say is that some of my negatives for this movie probably revolve around the fact that I felt like there were too many moments in the film where we're just seeing shots of landscapes or characters walking somewhere or, or just kind of a car driving. I feel like there was too many moments like that that maybe stretched it out a little too long 
maybe make the, made the film feel a little slower than it needed to be. That's just my honest take on, on that element of the film. And then there was a couple moments in the film where uh, sounds that you can find in iMovie were used. And, um, you know, it, it didn't really take me out of the movie, but it was, sometimes I feel like it didn't really convey the, the same level of strength that the, some of the other music did. Because there were moments in the short film where some of the music that was going on in the background, especially some piano moments, were very eerie. Some of the sound effects that you were added, some of the voiceover, the, the children talking at some points. This movie had some creepy elements to it. And I don't want to get into the story or what happens, but I did feel that some of the things that held this movie back sometimes, was I really enjoyed the creepier elements that were happening with the characters, but then there was times where there was things that were being shot for such a long period of time and that were kind of included, just shots of landscape, and stuff like that, that I felt slowed things down a little bit more. I really kind of wish that I would have had a little bit more time with our main character in the film to seek more of that adventure. And yeah, yeah on an overall, I was impressed to check this out and know that one of my friends made this. All I kept thinking as I was watching it was that if Blacktastic Media was given you know, this ability to work with a big crew and you know, a cameraman and have all these things and other pieces that he could work with to make like a really just cohesive film, that it's gonna be crazy to see what you do next, man. So yeah, The Comforter Guys, October 29th, go give my buddy some love and check out his short film. You know, he's slowly getting better and better at these and it's really, really great to see his progression over time. There are elements about this you have to expect because it, you know, it's a short film that he made on his own that aren't going to be, you know, cinematic. There is this handheld feel to it, but it kind of feels like it adds this creepy, eerie charm to it. And, and I kind of enjoyed that about the film. So yeah, man, thank you so much for letting me check out your movie uh, early and give you an honest review. And yeah, guys, October 29th, Blacktastic Media, follow the link down below. Go give him some love. Let him know what you think about the short film. I appreciate you giving me the chance to check it out early, man. And I look forward to seeing what you do next because I know as your projects get bigger and bigger and bigger, I can only imagine imagine how much better these things are going to get as you start to release more. So again, a big thanks for having me check this out for you, my friend, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.